When it comes to pictorial drawings, you have a lot of options. And in this video, we're going to address a two point perspective drawing. The first thing we need to do is set up a horizon line. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Once the horizon line has been established, we need to go in and draw in two vanishing points. They need to exist somewhere on the horizon. And generally, the one goes on the left and one goes on the right. The basic idea here is that whatever you're drawing needs to be set up between those two dots. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the center or anything like that, but it does need to be between them. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw a construction line. Now, this construction line is going to establish the, the height of our total object. Uh, which is shown over here. The total height is represented on the left edge of our isometric view. Once we have the total height established, I'm going to put two dots, one to represent the bottom and then going up four blocks to represent the top of what I'm doing. Those are construction lines that are there just for reference so I can go through and create the rest of what I need to do. Once I have that done, I'm going to draw a construction line starting off on the left vanishing point, going to the bottom of the first dot I created, and then on the right vanishing point, going to the top of the dot I created. I'm gonna do the same thing, going from the vanishing point on the right over to my top dot, and then the vanishing point on the right down to my bottom dot. What I've just done is I've established on the left-hand side here, this is my front view, and on the right-hand side, this is my right view, which will eventually show this edge and this edge, and my front view will eventually be shown over here. This height line, will eventually represent the right corner of my isometric. The next thing I need to do is I need to establish my width and I need to establish my depth. So I'm gonna go in here. Again, this doesn't matter. You're just approximating, making something that you think will look somewhat nice. It's not important if it does or not, uh, but we're gonna have to go through here. I set up my left edge and here's my whole front view. And then I set up my depth in the back and then this edge right here would be my front. From there, I'm going to bring my lines across. Anytime you have this vertical line here, any line that's to the left of it is going to get brought back to the right vanishing point. Any line that's to the right of the vertical line will get brought back to the left vanishing point. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And what we've established now is a box that shows the maximum size that this part can possibly be. From my isometric view, I can gather that my height here is half of what the total height of the object is. Because of that, I'm going to take a midpoint on this line and I'm going to bring it back as a construction line to my vanishing point on the left. I will do the exact same thing to the vanishing point on the right. What this does is it allows me to establish a couple of things. First off, this first box that we see on my right view of the isometric, I can see right here now. I also have an idea of where this piece is going to exist, but I still need to draw in the rest of it. To do that, I'm going to go from my right vanishing point and I'm going to draw a line going somewhere out to the top construction line coming in from the left vanishing point. This line will eventually be represented by the line right here. From this corner, I'm going to draw a construction line vertically down and it should hit the mid construction line coming from my left vanishing point. Now what I've done is I've established where that front view's at. I've also established my right view. I'm gonna go darken in things at this time to make things a little bit easier to see. So I'll start off by drawing my total width. I'll draw my total depth. I'll mark out my heights. And I'll also connect the dots of the places that I know exist. So from there, I have a basic start to what I need to do, but I'm still missing a number of lines. For instance, I don't have the top totally shaded in yet. I don't have any of the lines on the back part of the drawing, or I don't have this line connecting. So I can see this line right here. Um, it goes back and it connects at the bottom corner. So I'm going to find that bottom corner. I'm going to draw a construction line that goes back. This other line that I have right here also goes back. And since it's on the right side, I'm going to bring it back to the left construction point. Now, one of the things that happens here is there starts to be a lot of lines that start to existing together all at the same time. That's why I recommend going through and kind of 
dumping in things as you need them. And if you're not good with construction lines, uh, erase them as you go through so you know which ones for what. So at this point, I can start darkening in a few things. I'm going to darken in the top. I can also darken in this line right here that goes back until it meets my corner back here. The same goes for this edge. The last thing I need to do is I need to drop a vertical line in to represent the vertical line right here. Now once we take a look, I have a perfectly done, correctly drawn, two-point perspective drawing. There's a lot of construction lines that you can see. Um, and you'd have to go in and erase them. And you can get the idea that the width and depth are not true, but the height at least has vertical lines, which allow you to go through and draw things a little bit easier. Hope that helps.